Hey guys, welcome back to the Rusty Garage, and if this is your first time here, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm finally uploading the video of my new and improved valve spring compressor tool. Let's get into it. The first thing I did was to cut the angle piece off, and you can see here I've got the holes marked out. This pipe with the slot is going to be the piece that pushes down on the spring and it will be welded right in the center of the bar. These two holes will get drilled and slotted and I'll do the same on the other side and then through the two slots I'll run pieces of all thread that will go through the head bolt holes and there will be nuts and washers on both ends so I can clamp it down on the valve springs. So I got a few comments on the last video I did about this valve spring compressor tool. I'd like to say thank you to Addictive Addictive and Night Trick for showing some interest and motivating me to get this video done. If you haven't seen the last video about this tool, click on the link in the upper right corner and check it out. Addictive Addictive also asks if this would be the same for a 2007 Saturn Ion with a 2.2 liter engine. Um, first of all, for all the new viewers, this video and the one that Addictive Addictive commented on are part of a series where I rebuilt the head on a 2004 Saturn Ion with a 2.2 liter engine, with an Ecotec engine. And to answer the question, it's going to be 99% the same. The head is the same, the intake manifold might be slightly different, uh, and it's possible that there might be some extra emissions BS on the 07. But other than that, it should be 99% the same. Thanks again for the comments. And if you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below and maybe your question will get featured in an upcoming video. Okay, let's get back to the build. The four holes for the slots I drilled out to 3 eighths of an inch. And the center hole is drilled out to 3 quarters of an inch. But 3 quarters of an inch was just a little too small. The pipe didn't fit. I started off with a grinding stone to try to enlarge the hole a little bit, but I ended up using a burr instead because the grinding stone wasn't taking off enough material fast enough. I mean, grinding stones are pretty good if you only need to remove a little bit of material. Burrs are a lot faster, they really eat it up, but they are harder to control. There's links in the description if you want to check them out. I find that using a sharpie and a scratch all is really an accurate way to make marks on shiny metal and it's easy to see. I want to apologize, I lost the footage of me using the tool on the Saturn but I have this picture. The bar is right here at the bottom of the picture and the all thread is going through the head as well as the bar and I just clamp it down with the nuts. Thanks for staying until the end. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to learn more about cars or just to see some of my other crazy homemade tools.